Hey, Blizzard fans, Ryan Hobson, Director of Sales, Green Bay Blizzard. Time for another partner profile. And I am joined today by my friends from Bayer Performance Marketing. How are you doing, gentlemen? Lovely. We're doing good. We're doing all right. Hanging in. Awesome. Um, Blizzard fans, we've worked with, since my time with the Blizzard, I've worked in some capacity um, with Aaron, and Aaron was a season ticket holder before my time with the Blizzard, uh, and Bayer helps with a lot of the clever and cool posts that you've seen on our social media, and a lot of, so geofencing, retargeting, um, a lot of that stuff to help get the Blizzard out in front of you digitally um, over the past couple seasons, um, and whether that's Jake and Aaron helping our staff over the years to doing some of the posts with Matt this year, um, and it's been a really good partnership, and as as we come through this, I recommend meeting with them now so you're ready to fire up during it or at the end of it, but I, I recommend giving these guys a call. Um, let's go right to the big bear. Aaron, why don't you introduce us to the crew and let us know a little bit about yourself. All right, cool. Uh, my name's Aaron Bear. Um, we've been in business now, uh, it'll be 12 years in September. Um, the couple of fellows I have with me, um, I have Jake Slegger, um, who has uh, been with me for about, what, eight years or so? Eight years, yeah. Yeah, pretty crazy. Jake and I used to work together in radio, and uh, we saw a lot of the same stuff as far as uh, other agencies and just people not doing what's right and uh, doing what's best for their pocketbook and not necessarily what's best for the business. Um, so just based on that alone, we try to do everything completely opposite of that. Um, but Jake handles all of our digital advertising campaigns and he's also a photographer. So he does a lot of our, um, commercial photography and, uh, the other fella is Matt Prelick. Um, he's a new guy. He's a new guy on the, on the squad, but still, uh, green. still green. So he was with us a month and first round draft, uh, pick? <laughs> first round draft pick this year. Yeah. And, uh, He's a big football guy, and he can talk about that too. But um, basically, uh, Matt handles all of our uh, content that goes online, uh, social media, helps with email marketing, blogging, all that fun stuff. So he's our, he's our man on that front. Um, but yeah, we were uh, real excited to get the blizzard uh, season cooking. We started, we started in February and then uh, got our knees chopped off. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> It's like everything else, right? You know, you, you work all year, uh, to get yeah. things cranking and then not cranking anymore, but, uh, we're going to turn, we're trying our hardest to, uh, turn this into a, a positive in any way we can. And, uh, like Ryan said, we're just encouraging our clients. Um, even if you got to decrease budgets to stay on doing something consistent, uh, the key to winning in marketing is having people know you before they need you. Uh, so that's been the ongoing message that we've been telling clients. Um, Jake and Matt, do you have anything you want to tell about yourselves, what you do, who you are, anything like that? Well, uh, I've been working with uh, with Ryan uh, and Aaron now for, God, I, don't even, I don't even know, a bunch of years. Uh, and running all of your uh, advertising campaigns, getting the season rolling, um, filling the house, you know, getting those – tickets sold and, and as, as we always say, butts in seats um, kind of thing. And, and it, this year we had some really good stuff planned and it was, it was cooking. Um, yeah. I was real excited about it. And, and to hear that news come out, it was just kind of heartbreaking. But uh, I mean, like, like you said, you know, we're in it for this next season and, you know, let's take what we've learned this year and kind of, throw it at next year and kind of make next year even better than this year was. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. My, uh, my boys, we've been going to the games since God, Alan was probably seven. He's 13 now. Um, I mean, sit in front row. The boys are smacking players and they love it. <laughs> um, getting that close to, to football players is always fun. Um, they, uh, they get to interact with them guys and, um, mess around with all the the on-field staff it's it's always a good time so yeah Very good experience. to help the blizzard is always a good time mm -hmm. awesome yeah i was looking forward to games this year i mean i know we had a few 
uh, events planned f- for our team to come down and hang out. At, and that was actually, I think, supposed to be this coming weekend. And no more. And just like Jake had mentioned, like we do all this legwork and the back and forth of figuring out how this we're going to execute certain game day promotions or certain marketing campaigns. And we had everything ironed out. It seemed like maybe besides a few odds and ends. And then all of a sudden it's just like that second week, third week in March and just comes crumbling down somewhat. It felt like it was somewhat supported. Yeah. And now it's just, I mean, this last week's been tough. So the funny thing is like the email I sent to Ryan just to get us going here was the morning of them canceling the league. And it was just this, it was kind of a whirlwind just to sit back and be like, wow, this, that's where we're at now. There, all this, everything we've worked towards is just like Jake said, kind of practice for the 2021 season or maybe just January, 2021 for business in general, who knows where we're going to be. Yeah, no, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate Matt actually checked in and said, hey, do you still want to record the video <laughs> right after the season got shut down? And I think it's important, much like you guys said, to still be in front of people right now. So um, mm-hmm. all these videos that we're doing with our partners and our players reading books, um, it is every bit of under a year before we're back on the field at this point. But I think it's important that people get to know us, and it's a great chance Um to kind of get behind the curtain here too. And Aaron, you had said something about not reaching in people's pocketbooks. And um, I'm always transparent with Blizzard partners and season ticket holders. Aaron and the crew have helped us whether I've written a check to them or not some seasons. So I would speak highly. And that's not to say don't pay Aaron and his crew. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> Man, um, they don't like to work for free. I don't know why. <laughs> no. But when I was away early on, a lot of you Blizzard fans in in my six years here so far, um, it was just an ear as a season ticket holder before we really got into a partnership with them. So he does really, through Jake and through Matt and um, anybody else in the office, has your best interest in mind. And you actually, whether it was Joe or Selena or myself, we've all probably learned more about digital marketing marketing than we intended to, too, just from good conversations with these folks. So I appreciate it. So We appreciate well, you, too, and always happy to help. Mm-hmm. Aaron, so I, you've been to Blizzard games, and you have an outstanding story about stuff flying into the crowd. Are we going to get in trouble if we tell it, or can you tell it? <laughs> tell it. Tell it. <laughs> well, you won't get in trouble. <laughs> There's a high probability I might get a snide comment or look. Um, so, so oh, one year, so we sit in the front row, and uh, – so they were throwing out cheese curds, and uh, who doesn't love a good cheese curd, right? But uh, we have two little boys, and they're a handful. So my wife was uh, messing around with them, and uh, they're obviously they must be in a freezer or a, or a refrigerator, so there's a little bit of uh, condensation on the bags. Well, my wife looked up, and the promo girl was all excited, throwing it up. She was looking way up, like, fired up to just launch it and then it just slipped out of her hand and smoked my wife right in the face <laughs> so i tried not to laugh but it was impossible not to impossible so you gave you gave her first dibs on the cheese curds then right I, like yeah you it for yeah, yeah yeah these I are yours them. yeah they, they ricocheted into my lap i opened them and offered her the first handful so that's good of that. you mighty large of you i thought so, so. So, Aaron, you, before I even met you, you had been going to games. What what got you tied to the Blizzard, um, however long it's been as a season ticket holder? Um, the Very simply, I just love football, right? Um, I was going to Blizzard games before I had a family um, just because I love football, period, right? Um and then once I had my family, I started having a family, you know, two little boys. I mean, perfect, right? So then it just was exponentially better, right? So I got my fix for football, and it was a nice family um, event because, uh, as we all know, the winter blues sets in, you know, usually uh, January. So when blizzard season comes around right after that, uh, it's a nice breath of fresh air as far as something to do uh, with, with the family. Um, you know, when the Trinklers um, purchased it and you came on board, um, the promotions and everything are just awesome. And it's always something different and something fun. 
Uh, you guys do a lot to give back to the community, which is awesome. Um, so that's why, that's why I'm passionate about you guys, um, the village and, uh, you specifically and, uh, the blizzard. Um, I just love the whole experience, what you guys stand for and, uh, football. Who doesn't love football? Right. Appreciate it. Jake, what's your favorite part? I mean, like I like I kind of said in my little description there. I mean, I, I've got two boys, uh, thirteen and six, and they love getting down there and just firsthand interactions with them. You know, and they can be down the dasher boards, and a player comes into the the stands with them, and they're <laughs> smacking the helmets and pushing them right back out onto the field. Um, uh, even when it's in between plays, and the the players are you know, changing out different players, they, they kind of BS with the, the guys that are running <laughs> off the field and, you know, give them some shade a little bit. Um, it's, it's just a great time. So get out on a, a Saturday, Sunday afternoon and, you know, relax a little bit, have some fun, chill with the boys. It's, it's something different. That's you awesome. know? Matt, had you been to one? I can't remember. I have. So um, I don't have any children yet, but I look forward to being a father someday. And I think, just sharing that like these two gentlemen are with their kids. Like I think football is just kind of a way of life where we're from, especially living in green Bay. And it's just like Aaron mentioned, something fun to do after, you know, once the NFL season's done. And the great thing about the blizzard are just the awesome promos you guys are able to do. I mean, there was countless ones when I was writing social posts where I'm like, Oh, I can't wait to see the yeah. results of this or the content that comes from this. And, I think that that's what's cool about it not being a, you know, an NFL or an NBA. You're able to kind of do what you want within staying within certain guidelines that you guys have created or the IFL have created. So that's the best part. Um, I did go to a few games in college. Uh, one memorable game was post St. Patrick's Day. Uh, green beer was <laughs> very, very affordable that evening. And um, I ended up getting a ball <laughs> thrown to me by a defensive player for the, uh, I don't remember the team at the time, but. Um, I found out after the game that he he got charged for that ball, and I felt bad that I probably should have paid for it. But it was kind of a rock and hard place. I was a college student. He was a you know indoor football player. I don't know who picks up the bill, but I guess he would at that point. <laughs> was it one of the Blizzard players or the visiting player? No, it was a visiting player. His last oh, name. Oh boy, was so he Taylor. got charged. And he was got Taylor. Flagged. That's it one of the most. Si yeah, it was a pick six though, so it might oh, have okay. been worth it. I'm 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 not sure, but he uh his last name was Taylor. I knew he went to the – oh, Winston Taylor. That was the name. Huh. Yep. Yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the he crazy actually, roles. He actually came on a radio show I did in college. I asked him to come on, and he came. So, uh, yeah. I, what, what's the rule about – you're going to say about the Yeah, ball? so if, if we score or one of our players throws a football into the stand, that's absolutely fine, and there are footballs, right? If the opposing team throws a ball into the stand, it's actually a penalty if they throw one of our balls into the stands or hand it oh, in the wow. stands. Yep. Yeah, crazy. Good to know. Yeah. We were jaw we were jaw jacking with them too though. That was the part I guess I kinda left out. Like we had we were we were giving him the business and he returned a, a touchdown, so it was kind of <laughs> bittersweet. It was fun. That was a good game. But yeah, I mean just stuff like that. Like you wouldn't have That's that cool. in an NFL game. You wouldn't have it at wherever else. And it's just that whole and then we got it through on the field after. I like I remember I met I had the ball and BJ Hill signed it. Like that guy's a stud. Like, I love him. Like, I didn't even know who he was. He actually is a trainer at the gym I used to go to. So it's just like this weird – you see the guys around town just like you with the Packers. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Aaron, back to Bear. So you alluded to it a little bit. Um, and when we had touched on just importance of still marketing right now, what would you tell people as we're going through this as to what – I mean, what are the, some of the – just in, why is it important? I know staying front of mind is always important, but why, why right now so much? So what we're recommending to clients, I mean, obviously keeping the lights on, not going into debt. I mean, we get that, but if you have any means at all to, to market at all, like we suggest doing something, right? So um, whether that is decreasing some budgets, um, my media rep friends probably won't like me saying this, but uh, TV, radio, billboards, uh, your traditional media are uh, giving bang up deals right now to get on the air, stay on the air. I know we had some clients on uh, on radio, and when this all went down a month or so ago, I called them up and uh, 
I pretty much got what I asked for for free <laughs> uh, to stay on. So uh, sorry, media reps, but uh, I, I would recommend visiting your uh, media reps if you are on um, on the air right now um, to some extent. And, and with that being said, I mean, even just uh, if you have to take your budget down, but just, just don't go away. And on the other flip side of that is just know that there's a good chance the majority of your competition has gone away. So if you can afford to stay on, there's a lot of market share to be had, right? There's, there's a lot of mental equity to be gained. So if, mm -hmm. if you can get on board with, with, with something, right? I mean, we, we realize for most businesses, it's not going to be um, the same budget, but if you can, right. even if you got to turn it down a couple notches or whatever, just, <clears throat> If you can stay consistent with something, and, I, and also you're going to have to tweak your message, right? Because there's a good chance your business model has changed. So you just got to be real sensitive about what you're messaging too, right? Like, like if people are um, blasting out sale, sale, sale right now. Eh, that's a, yeah. A lot of people could view that as uh, distasteful. Um, a lot of the advertising right now and the messaging is more... Uh, heartfelt, we're here to help, um, that, that kind of messaging in, in content, um, which people seem to like. Um, I don't know, Jake and Matt, do you have anything to add to that? Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll kind of touch base on, expand on what you were saying. I, we have had numerous conference calls this week with clients and talking about scaling back budgets, um, keeping it affordable so that they can keep paying the rent and keep the lights on and all that kind of stuff. And um, trends that I've seen is the, the screen time, like we're all on our phones way more than we've ever been. Uh, we're stuck at home and kids are screaming and all that kind of stuff. And you're going like this to get away from, you're on the phone. Oh, like I was five minutes ago? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's my quadrant of the screen. I thought he was cutting me off. I'm oh, like, really? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, oh, no. Basically, um, whenever I get on the phone or do a video conference, that's like sends out a beacon to my sons to come <laughs> and bug me. Like, they'll leave me alone every other time and not want to be around me. But if I'm on the phone trying to do something related to work, they're right on me. But <laughs> and, yeah. anyway... Continue, Jake. Sorry. Um, but so the, the real thing that we've seen is that with, with that increased screen time on, on cell phones or, or computers or anything, I mean, it, the digital messaging is going way farther than it ever has. Uh, and it, to reference what Aaron said, the, the content that you push, you're pushing out at this point should be skewed a little bit, you know, to be more empathetic towards the, the current situation, kind of explain to those people looking for you how you are dealing with it, if there's new ways to get a hold of you, if you're taking online appointments, if you're doing telehealth for you know the healthcare side of things, if you're taking online booking or whatever it may be, orders, uh, let them know that. As far as trends in, let's say cost, the cost trend is just plummeting. So uh, like Aaron said before, like your competition isn't online right now. A lot of people, from what we've seen, businesses are just trying to keep lights on. So they're pulling some marketing, but those that are there and, and can remain are seeing amazing, as far as average cost per clicks from having an ad shown to getting somebody to your website can be way less. Your market share is going to go through the roof uh, as far as impressions that you're going to be able to show people. Um, it's there's a lot of weird stuff going on right now, and I mean, if if you can, there's ways around it so you can be how do I say it? Budget better conscious. Off. Yeah, budget conscious and better off when everything does rebound. You know, I mean, we're. The three of us, at least, are, are full on agreeing that, you know, it, everything's going to rebound. It's just a matter of when. Um, the the people at this point, you know, we're all itching to get out and, you know, spend money. We're looking to, you know, my wife said it today, let's go to the mall. You know, I just want to walk the mall. That's it. We don't need to go shopping. We, I just want to get out. 
Um, we actually have so, a hashtag called be ready for the rebound. So true. If you put that hashtag, a lot of our content uh, will show up. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Matt? Any yeah, I, it's, you can't turn off the lights completely right now. I'm thinking of while Aaron was saying that the analogy of everyone know, knows like an old gymnasium, right? Where you had the lights on, huge lights, you turn them off and you let it sit for five minutes, pitch dark, you try to turn them back on. It takes a while for those bulbs to heat up again, right? And to go completely off, it's like, that's fine. Like, I get it. If you have to pay your employees, you're not laying people off. Like, I respect that a ton, but just understand the ramifications of that decision. There are really affordable ways, including um, the mediums Aaron discussed, of still getting your brand out there. And I you know, deal solely, mostly on social media. End. And I know just from a dollar to dollar standpoint, and Jay could speak on this too. Like, it's if you only have 50 bucks to your name for a marketing budget for this month, you can get kind of savvy with that, even if it's just a couple posts um, just on one outlet being maybe Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn. But to completely turn yourself off is brutal. I mean, I just think of all the restaurants I've ordered food from the last month just to kind of support local businesses and not chain restaurants. I basically went to their social media first and I was like, okay, well, one, are they open? Yes, they're open. Okay, two, what are their hours? Okay, I can still get them then. And then do they have a different menu? Because I don't want to call there, get a busy number, not get any phone number, find out they're closed, and then, oh, you didn't see our new menu? Oh, no, I didn't. How would I have known? Oh, well, here it is. And it's just, you have, you have to still have that brand awareness. Things are going to change. And if you're having issues adapting your business, we can help you. I mean, I've there's clients that have came to us that are current clients that we've helped adjust them. They've pitched us ideas and it's been a really nice conversation. Um, similar to what we're having. We're just all bouncing ideas off each other. And, you know, I, I heard the, I heard someone say today uh, from a different company that I know of. And they said, I've, I've never experienced anything like this. I'm, I'm, I'm frantic. I'm stressed. Well, it's like, no one has, we're all in this together. We really have to just use each other as a resource. Like, no, I mean, not as this has never occurred in our history of our, you know, existence and we're just dealing with it now in 2020 and sticking to the phone time like jake said that's uh, my phone time's up by like an hour and a half every day it seems like which is <laughs> disgusting oh, yeah. nice well cool i i appreciate it guys and blizzard fans i'll drop the link um to bear performance marketing in these videos like i always do and for sure check them out on social and i would encourage you guys if you want to if you have 50 bucks or if you're looking for to get the word out there like you guys are talking about right now now is a great time to reach out to them so there's a plan in place when you're able to crank it up or even spend minimally right now um, but at least start the conversation around relationship because I would speak pretty highly of all three of these guys so definitely check out the links when we do that sure. Blizzard fans um, Bayer team one of the things I've been doing as we wrap these so non non marketing non Bayer related what is just as a tough time for everybody what are some personal words of wisdom or stuff that's helping you guys get through at home right now, or just from people to people, what would you recommend right now? Try to see the glass half full, right? <clears throat> Be optimistic. I mean, we all have a choice on our attitude. So uh, I choose to be as optimistic as possible. Try to lift people up. Um, you know, when they're feeling down, when they, when they, when they focus on one particular component of what's going on right now, um, we're all still breathing. Okay. How about you, Jake, besides your son ripping a bunch of guitar solos, what do you got? <laughs> oh my God, they're driving me nuts. Um, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, they, they're probably the, the thing that I'm trying to, to focus on, uh, the most. I mean, I, I'm getting some work done and, and doing all of that. And um, like, like I said, with with phone time up, I don't want to get caught up in all the news and all that. I, I want to decompress a little bit. I know mean, we've been going on three, four mile walks uh, every night when we can. You know, take the pup out, and it's a, a nice time to to decompress a little bit. And you know not be focused on the constant droning of that news in your head. Um, you know, five weeks of that so far is going to drive everybody nuts. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, staying positive, that's my way to stay, to stay positive, you know, kind of like what Aaron said. So, um, 
yeah, trying to do that. Matt? Uh, yeah, pretty similar ideas of what uh, both my colleagues had. I think it's, you have to be optimistic every day. Like I'm thankful I get up and I don't have to not have a job or have a family of X amount of kids that I have to support. Um, and I think one thing I've tried to do at least a couple times a week is just connect with some people I haven't in a long time. I actually was on FaceTime with my cousin today that I haven't spoke to in, I don't know, Christmas, maybe texted once in a while over something. And she's actually in the area. She's from Minnesota and she's in the area. I didn't know that. And she's helping out a friend that way. But um, other conversation I've had just with friends that I've lost touch with high school buddies, college buddies, it's been fun just to see what everyone's going through and kind of that right there is actually even, I would say filled up my glass a little bit further just because you realize how <clears throat> fortunate you are. And then you're under, you know, you're able to bring other people up with you, but yeah, also with Jake though, getting outside has been nice. I, around my neighborhood, I got a bunch of yard work done over the weekend. And like, even today I looked out and people are doing stuff outside and, I don't know. I mean, generally, I guess, well, we did have snow on the ground on Monday, so it's nice to see green grass and sun. So that's, I guess that's positive right there. Yeah. How about you, Ryan? Uh, my kids. So I, I think a lot of these videos have really, I think it's good. It's cool. Cause I've gotten a chance to share a little bit about, more about me, a lot of blizzard partners and season ticket holders. I think our partners more cause I have longer conversations with you guys I understand my wife's in nursing and my, my what my kids do. Um, but I think a lot of these has opened both Kathy and myself up a little bit more and the, behind the scenes of blizzard um but yeah i mean kirsten's in the thick of it as healthcare, um and i because of how crucial her job is i wear a lot of the helping the kids with school um, making sure cadence is getting soccer touches in um they are my world right now along with right now it's handling all the ticketing questions once the season got canceled um but yeah it's 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 enjoyable i don't i'm not i'm not i wasn't outstanding in school <laughs> pretty good sales guy but i wasn't outstanding in school um, but it is, I, I, I wouldn't trade that time with them at all. Um, and I think it's neat. And I, I appreciate you guys answering that question. You know, it wasn't really until I asked it of you three and I've done a couple of these partner videos. Mm -hmm. I think it's cool for our partners to see that the Blizzard partner with people that are a lot like us and they're not, I'm not just introducing other sponsors to them. We partner with pretty good people, Blizzard fans. So when you're looking for someone to reach out to, or if you run a business, I would give these guys a call right now, even to get to know them and say, Hey, what would you, what would you do right now? What did you do out of this? And I think it's a good one to reach out to. So um, thank you right. for taking the question. On that, on that same note, one last thing. Um, we are happy to help with any questions, consulting with anyone. Um, we're not going to charge anyone for our time as far as answering questions, bouncing ideas. Um, you know, whether that's, Hey, I want to do some radio. What stations do you think I should run? Or, Hey, I got 500 bucks a month. What do you think I should do? Or we're happy to help. So um, just go to our website and fill out the contact us page. And one of us, depending on what you're, you're looking for, one of us will get a hold of you. And we're happy to just have a conversation with you and help you because as small business, all of us small businesses, um, we got to help each other. And, um, you know, it's, it's not about making a buck right now. It's about helping each other uh, get back on their feet. And we're, we're happy to do that. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I'll, I'll tie a, a bow on it. That's a great, I, I mean, that's incredible that you guys do that. I will tell you Blizzard fans, when you meet with these guys, you'll want to work with them in a different capacity too. Um, they're easy to talk to you to make it so you understand it. And uh, we really appreciate you guys. We were excited to tee the season off with you guys. I thought we were reaching some great people with campaigns we were running and we will definitely pack the house in 2021 and break the all-time attendance record. We'll get the laser show back. We'll get Sanctus back and we'll be cruising. Sounds like a plan. Appreciate awesome. you, Ryan. Thank you Thanks, guys. Ryan. Dave, I appreciate everything. Thank you for taking time this evening. Thank you. Bye, Have Ryan. a good night. You Thanks, too. Ryan. Go Blitz. Yeah, Go Blitz. See ya.